What's your assessment of that performance? I'm more disappointed in the result really than the performance because it's that time of the season where it's all about results. So we started the game in the first 20 minutes excellently um, and should have gotten better positions for the territory we had. And uh, obviously we got a bit of a sucker push to uh, them scoring right on half time, just before half time, about four or five minutes before half time. Poor goal to concede. Um, and inconsistent defending from us. And then obviously second half, um, we didn't perform well enough to get something out of the game. And it's important this time of the season that you know you pick up points and sometimes you've got to respect the point. And uh, against Oldham, um, against Accrington, and again here tonight, and even Torquay away, we've managed to sort of shoot ourselves in the foot and lose the game. So um, it is frustrating. It's frustrating for us all, but we've all got to stick together and move on to the next game because it's, it's been a relentless period for us. I think with the last six, seven weeks, we've been playing Saturday midweek, so um, and we've got some key players out injured. Um, and like I always say, that even the big teams in the Premier League, they can't have the best players missing than we have. What would you say that went wrong in the second half? Um, well, Laurie didn't have a lot to do in the second half, but then again, their goalie didn't make enough saves for the territory we had either. So um, the lad scored a Waldy. Um, we felt with a penalty in the second half where their lads headbutted Nicky in the back of the head. Nicky's clearly won the flick on. Their lads come through the back of him. Obviously, he smashed his nose up um, by headbutting Nicky in the back of the head. Smashed his like, forehead and his nose up. So um, we felt that was a penalty. The referee tried to tell me that it was, um, it was a natural contact in the box. I felt Nicky clearly won the head on his head, put in the back of the head. So um, I know they felt the grave with Marv's challenge in the first half. But I thought Marv kept his eye on the ball, got up early before their lad and won the ball cleanly. So... I thought it was a good, good play from Mav. He's power and pace. So, um, but yeah, look, what went wrong? If I'm being honest, we're off balance tonight. Um, we're missing Danny's a massive player for us. Gormo's our captain. <laughs> Wins is a massive player for us. Dom Revan's a massive player for us, and we're off balance. And if I'm being honest, we need to try get a couple of players in in this key period because uh, them lads won't be back anytime soon. You mentioned Gorman there. He was a notable name missing from the team. Should say, is that an injury that he's picked up? Yeah, yeah, the scan yesterday. He's got uh, issue with his heel, and um, that's why he didn't play against South End. They didn't start, so we've scanned them, um, and the results have come in. So it's look, it's just frustrating. These these players have performed unbelievable for us all season, and it's the business end of the season, and they're missing. So but the volume of gains has been huge, and the strength that in the squad needs to be better. We've got an FA Trophy quarter final this weekend. Is this the perfect time for those players to step up? Well, they have to step up. You know, they want to stay at the football club. They got to step up. Um, I'm not throwing the players under the bus. It's important that we stick together. But tonight, it's just to, sat, uh, Friday night, brilliant performance. Lads came in, stepped in. But what I would say is Danny is such a big player for us. Um, he's a huge player for us. And, you know, we've had to play sort of uh, young Potty at right back tonight. Then we've had to change the system a little bit as well during the game to sort of help the team. Um, so, yeah, like playing three left footers in your back line is an ideal. Um, but they've got to step up. That's what they're paid to do. So, uh, you know, when the criticism comes, you've got to be able to take it. When the joy comes, they can definitely take it. So, or the elation, whatever you want to call it. So, we just can't get too down. We just got to move on to the next game. And uh, it's another big one for us, Saturday. You mentioned about bringing players in. Are we close to getting any deals across the line? We've got loads of players that we could get in. The Not loads, but you know, players we can get in. So, um, we do have to balance the books at the football club. That's always important as well. So, um, we need some defensive reinforcements I know that for a fact you can see that you know Stevie Wonder could tell you that um, so yeah look uh, let's see what happens Dean thank you for your time Cheers.